Hey guys, this is Eckhart's Letter, hello and welcome to another video. And this is not one that I'm super excited to make. As I'm sure most of you know, on this channel I focus primarily on the content in my videos. The Star Wars, the Halo, the science fiction, whatever. It's not very often that I do these sort of meta videos discussing the channel or whatever else. However, to put things lightly, today my channel has been absolutely attacked by copyright trolls. And what's going on through threatens my channel, and is also indicative of a much greater problem that threatens all of your favorite YouTubers. So we'll be talking about today, we'll talk about the over 20 copyright flags that I've gotten in just a few hours, and I guess I'll do so because I want to fill you guys in, and because to be honest I need to vent about this shit or else it will drive me crazy. In the meantime I'll put up some gameplay footage or something for you guys to watch. Anyway, as some of you know before I did YouTube, I did actually practice as a lawyer for the government. I know a little bit about copyright law, not enough to practice or anything like that, but hopefully enough to at least explain to you guys what's going on and why it's completely stupid. So I want to show you guys the process of how copyright works on YouTube. And to be clear, I don't blame YouTube for what's going on today. However, they are sort of complicit in systems which really hurt content creators and arguably copyright holders as well. So imagine you're a musical artist and you just created a piece of music. Some artists will want Want this music used freely, they'll allow it to be used in any YouTube video in whatever form, some will only allow their music to be used with permission, and others don't want anyone to use their music, they want to profit off of what they created while no one else does. And that's completely fair and completely within their rights, as a copyright holder and as someone who makes things. Let's say you fall into one of these latter two categories. Because the internet is so big and there are so many videos uploaded every second on YouTube, there are these companies which will basically crawl YouTube and look for copyright infringements. So let's say I've made a song, I'll give it to company A. Company A has its robots sort of analyze YouTube, and when a match comes up, i.e. when they find the use of copyrighted content belonging to one of their clients, they flag the video, which can have numerous effects. Sometimes they'll block the content completely, sometimes they'll monetize the video for themselves, sometimes the content will be blocked in certain countries countries, there are a bunch of options. And this isn't only belonging to people who make music or these rights companies. It's also done by big companies who make television shows. I can do it if someone uses my content. I think you guys get the idea. And this isn't the problem. This is completely fair. The use of automated bots can be problematic because it doesn't always account for things like fair use, but that's a discussion for another day. The real problem is that these companies seem to universally be really slimy, they're not punished whatsoever even when they impact the livelihoods of people, they use bots in automated systems with reckless abandon, there's absolutely no impetus for them to be careful, and they just don't give a shit most of all. So I woke up this morning with a bunch of copyright claims, and that's concerning. Sometimes I get one, usually because I use too much visual content from someone like ABC. Disney's really cool about Star Wars footage, you can basically use a minute of it, especially if muted. So I woke up this morning with a couple copyright claims, I looked, and my heart dropped because they were tied to the outro of my videos, which uses a song called Home Resonance. This is a song I will note by an artist named Home. I use a bunch of home music throughout my videos because I have permission directly from the artist behind Home, Randy Goff, to do so. I say I was scared when it was in the outro because I use my outro in basically every video and have done so for over two years. And throughout the day, as the bot is crawling YouTube and discovering my videos, more and more of my content has been flagged. I'm over 20 videos now with seven new flags in the last hour. And if nothing stops this, eventually my entire catalog, which features my outro, which must be damn near 800 videos, will be flagged. And it's not only old videos either. Charlie, who edits for my second channel, uploaded new stuff and immediately the outro was flagged and that video was caught up in the system. And what does that mean? What happens when something gets flagged? Well, it means I no longer have the ability to make money off of it. Every single dollar that the video makes from now on goes to the digital rights management company. What's more, they have control of the ads. So if you see some of my videos now with four ads shoved in the middle, that's because 
they have the ability to do so. And that's all annoying, but here's the real kicker. They're not even flagging the use of the right music. Resonance is made by an artist called Home. The company Stealing My Money, which by the way is called Horus Music, is doing so on behalf of an artist called Miyako Chalky. I'm gonna give you guys a hint. Miyako Chalky did not make Resonance. They're basically taking my money based on a song which doesn't even exist. And not only that, ironically, they're taking my money based on their uploading of the song without credit. I think the music is in the system because of this video here, which I'll put on the screen. It seems like Horus Music has ignorantly uploaded uploaded this music to YouTube with the wrong information attached. Clearly this is meant to be a different song, something by Miyako Chalky, but in their ignorance, again, they uploaded Resonance by Home, which has now went through my library and demonetized all of my videos. Not only that, but if you look in the videos, they confirmed each one with a manual review, or at least they've said they have. So they fucked up, I'm the one that will pay for it, hopefully it will be fixed, but either way, there is absolutely nothing that will happen to them because of this. They could claim all 1,000 or however many videos I've made, they could be in the wrong, and nothing would happen to them. I've sent them an email, I've had Randy from home attempting to help me out. I'm fairly confident that this will get fixed, but it's indicative of a much, much larger problem. These automated systems are fucked up beyond belief. This is not the first time that I've had this specific song claimed. Once, somebody used Home Resonance in a rap remix or something that they made, and then the DRM company that worked for them decided to start flagging Resonance, thinking that it was that same rap song. In other words, that's like if I rapped over the Imperial March and called it the Eckhart's March, and then started flagging content which used the original song, saying that it was the Eckhart's March, if that makes sense. Other times, and this is especially the case with another artist that I have permission to use music from, Allison, the automated systems just don't care if I have permission or not. I have permission to use the Allison library in my videos, but the bots don't know that, and basically the music will be demonetized until I reach out every time and try to speak to a real person. And anyone who knows YouTube knows that or at least the pace that I do videos, knows that that's not really possible. So it's just frustrating, it's automated systems, it's people not answering emails, it's companies not giving a fuck, and in the end, YouTube creators and also artists get screwed over. I can't promote some of Allison's music, and personally, I can't use the music which I have permission to, which would make some of my videos better, just because systems don't allow that to work. So as I said in the meantime, I do think this will get better, mostly because Home Randy really stuck his neck out for me. And by the way, I'll link to Home Resonance down in the description, as I always do in my videos and some of his other music. But there's also the chance that they decline every single copyright appeal that I've been forced to make. Then things start to get a little scary because if I try to take it to the next level, YouTube can shut my channel down, and YouTube has to make so many decisions a day, they do end up getting some wrong. There's also the fact that I don't know what happens to a YouTube channel that gets this many copyright claims. We know that YouTube has a bunch of internal systems that measure things like reputation, and I don't think my channel getting like 30 copyright claims now looks very good in those systems. Hopefully nothing happens, I think it's reasonable likely that nothing happens, but I don't know for sure. I don't know. Again, I don't know what I want from this video, I don't know what's going to happen, but I will say Horus Music, the company doing this, is an absolute negligent bottom feeder. When you're messing with digital rights management and copyright, you need to get it right, especially if you're taking my money or anybody else's money. I've got a wife, I've got a son, you're affecting my livelihood. Now, so long as they drop the claims, the money which is being held in escrow, which basically means it's being held by YouTube, will return to me, all of the money that's been made while the videos are on copyright claim. And that includes two of my most recent ones, so that is some money, but sometimes they just decline it. And that's happened to me many, many times before, even when I fully have permission. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, absolutely nothing will happen to them. They can act like complete scumbags, they don't need to answer my emails, they can claim whatever they want, and YouTube does nothing to them. They're supposed to manually check what portions of my video the claim relate to, but they, you know, obviously did not, or they don't even know the music that they're protecting. So screw Horace Musical, YouTube, 
not a, you know, you give me a livelihood, but I wish you were better at this. And a very big thank you to Home and the artist behind Home, Randy. You guys can follow further updates about this on Twitter. I won't be making a follow-up video unless everything goes to hell, hopefully not, but I will tweet when there is a resolution. Put a link to that, as I said, down in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. This video probably will not be monetized, but we'll see. It's gonna include the resonance so you guys can hear it in its full. But with that being said, have a good one, and as always, may the Force be with you.